Hello, my name is Christina Forth. Welcome to my YouTube channel, May the Fourths. If anybody gets that geeky reference, comment below. I've realized I have a long way to go in learning how to vlog, but if you're willing to stick with me through the awkward phase, subscribe below. A little bit of background information, I live in a small three-bedroom apartment in Charleston. I have two girls, a husband, and a dachshund. I also have ADD and anxiety, and our house is often a disaster. So that's what this video is going to be about this week. I'm going to slowly throughout the week um, be cleaning and organizing our apartment. Although the clutter overwhelms me in the apartment, which is why we're decluttering and organizing this week, I do thrive off of organization and just overall having things out of sight. Everything has to have a home. So pretty much if it doesn't have a home, it's getting donated. After we came back from Christmas vacation with the in-laws, the house got totally totally destroyed and right now we're pretty much at the recovery phase. My doctor also suspects I have PCOS so I would also like to start eating healthier and meal prepping and planning. So this would also be a way to keep me accountable not only for um, my, my apartment but also my health. Starting with the salad my husband made me. Alright so we're going to work in the kitchen a little bit. I have a lot to do in here. The countertop needs to be cleared completely off. Um, it's so cluttered. It stresses me out. And for some reason, the island is like the catch-all clutter all the time. So I'm going to go through that, uh, find homes for everything, do the dishes, clean the countertops, and that's pretty much what we're gonna be working on uh, for New Year's Day. So I'm gonna start by uh, loading up the dishwasher. My husband got me, um, I think it's called a hydro cell. Um, I was able to pick out my uh, base water bottle and then the boot to go on top of it. I haven't washed it yet, so um, that's what we're gonna be doing. And um, if anybody's thinking about getting a water bottle that's pretty uh, decently priced and that has high reviews on Amazon, the Hydrocell is um, the water bottle to buy. And the boot just easily slides on and off. So I'm going to wash it. I don't need to wash this. I'm just going to wash the water bottle itself. The other thing we're going to throw in the dishwasher just so it's clean is... Um, my new Tupperware set from Ello. I do have a, a mug from them before. I've never used their uh, Tupperware before, so I'm super excited to start using these. Hopefully, I'll really like them. Um, and this can tie in with my meal planning and meal prepping. I heard that uh, glass is the way to go instead of plastic, so I'm just going to run these through a cycle and um, start using them. I also have to leave the light off when I'm recording in my kitchen. I'm trying to think of a better solution other than just shutting my light off because the lights that I have are like a yellow light and it's horrible for lighting. There's a glare. And I just haven't, if I waited for the right time to record and make my vlogging videos, I would never do it. It's literally been years since I've wanted to do this, like maybe eight to nine years. So, I mean, if I just continue to wait, it's just not going to get done. Um, I'm really self-conscious about my weight right now. And my apartment, it's not, it's not an apartment that is like a typical YouTuber. Um, I don't have the pretty, like my countertops are pretty, but they're dark. My cabinets are dark. It's not going to look amazing. But, um, so I really hope you enjoy this channel and to see the growth. 
All right, we're gonna get unpacking these bad boys. It's not the exact color combination I wanted. I kind of wanted the um, ones off of Amazon that were a brighter pack. These are more of a pastel -y, but Target did um, price match me on these. The, so, um, although they weren't the right color, I'm super grateful that I was able to get them so cheap because I did actually use my Target red card on them giving them another 5% off. So we have that lilac -y pink on the bottom, the mint greenish on the uh, in the middle, the periwinkle, the cobalt blue, and the navy blue. Hey, this is future Christina talking. So I ended up stopping at Trader Joe's and got a whole bunch of healthy and I tried to stay gluten free um, because I do have digestive issues and I thought maybe if I tried to do some gluten free stuff it might help. So I got some almond butter. Hindsight, I should have got the salty kind but the almond butter is pretty tasty. I got some trail mix, which had almonds, cashews, walnuts, and hazelnuts in it, which was really good for snacking while I'm studying. I got some peppers to make some uh, chicken fajitas. The bananas were huge. So I ended up actually using those for what I intended them for. The chicken fajitas turned out pretty good. Look at how big these bananas were up against my hand. They were huge. I also ended up getting some teeny tiny potatoes. Everybody was raving about them on Instagram. I ended up using them for smashed potatoes. I'm also in the car for about two hours out of every day, so I grabbed these fruit leather bars and they kind of tasted like applesauce. Okay, so this is like day two or three of recording. Um, again, I apologize for the crappy um, lighting in the area, but tonight we are going to uh, meal prep a little bit and do a little bit more cleaning. I think I'm going to continue to work on the kitchen and also the bedroom because my husband doesn't know there's a desk coming in the mail uh, that I bought from Target tomorrow. So. I'm going to need the space and the cleanliness of the bedroom in order for me to build it and stick it in the bedroom. The desk is a really pretty desk from Target. I think it's by Threshold. Um, I'll try to link it down below. I, upon first review, highly recommend it. I haven't tested it out yet or built it, so I can't really say like how well it's built or anything to that extent but it is like natural wood on the top and then the shelves and then the rest of it is a really pretty grayish blue 
Okay, so now we're going to just clean up the counters a little bit. This was the mess from our Sunday. I also did not fully get dressed today. I just, you know, wore lounge clothes because it was Sunday and uh, we're going to have to start the work week and school week back up again, which is really tiring on me mentally. I bought this barbecue cut pack of salmon from Trader Joe's. It came pre-cut into three different proportions, so it was super easy for me to just put the salmon in the marinade. My family really likes teriyaki and soy sauce, so I found this soyaki at Trader Joe's, and it turned out it was really good. I highly recommend the soyaki sauce. I did end up letting it marinate just for a couple hours. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make this huge thing of broccoli. We needed to use two bowls because there's not enough room in the other bowl. Oh wow, 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 wow. All right, so we have Chinese vegetable fried rice, which just has onions, carrots, and snap peas in there. And we also have plain white rice. So I'm going to, so for supper tonight, it's gonna be fish, one of these rice, and then some broccoli. And that's gonna be my meal for tomorrow's lunch as well. This was what was for dinner that night, and then I also had leftovers for throughout the week. About a week ago, we had a really bad storm that came through Charleston. I think the um, winds picked up to about 62 miles per hour. It also knocked our electric out for most of the day. Here we are just going to put together my new Target desk. You'll see in the video that my dog wanted to help me and at one point he even laid down on the desktop. Overall, I was really impressed about how easy it was to put together this desk. Someone on Target.com complained about how it was so confusing to put this desk together, but honestly, I found it pretty easy. They did label the hardware with numbers that coincided with the steps that you were supposed to take. So this is day four, I think, of filming, and today I look like a hot mess because number one, I'm just in my PJ shirt still. Uh, number two, like, I left my hair straightener at my in-law's house, which is all the way in another state. So for a couple weeks, I'm just going to be with my hair up looking like a hot mess because I would feel so bad if they had to pay for shipping and ship my hair straightener. Um, so, and now I'm sweating because I just built, ta-da, 
my desk for school. Do I need another desk for school? Yes and no. <laughs> I technically have a office desk in what we call the office or the third bedroom. However, <clears throat> I would consider that I have extreme or like medium to extreme ADD and the visual clutter in there just like sets me off. I cannot concentrate. I will not be able to get my schoolwork done. I do share an office with my husband. So even if I threw out all the stuff on my side of the room, it would still, it would still seeing his visual clutter would just, I couldn't concentrate. So I'm making this pretty much my space. I have a lot of stuff in here from Christmas still, so I'm going to be cleaning that over the next couple days, setting up my desk area, because I do plan to take at least two classes this spring, two to three, I should say, um, and just working on getting rid of the clutter. There's Christmas presents in here, like piles of them. There are socks. There's my husband's stuff I need to fold. I just really need to ship the stuff out that I need to ship out, donate the stuff that I need to donate, and just like put stuff away. But mostly the donations is a key thing. I really need to get a lot of stuff to Goodwill and just throw a lot of stuff out. I never considered myself a pack rat until I started to actually be more intentional with my space and try to declutter because throughout the eight years we've been married, almost nine, we've moved around to, let's see, we met in Italy, moved into a house in Italy, moved to Japan, moved back to his parents, moved, let's see, moved back to his parents, uh, moved to Georgia, moved to Louisiana, then back to South Carolina. So we pretty much had like six moves in the last nine years and we've never really decluttered in those nine years. So it's a slow process. When Morena from Fearfully Created says you've hit the hot side of YouTube, she she's being really modest. If you found my video, you've really reached the hot side mess of YouTube. Okay, so I usually make my bed. It just makes me feel better when I make my bed. I have heard if you make your bed, you just feel better about the rest of your day. But my mom growing up has always kept on me about making my bed, making my bed. So I it just kind of carried on with me throughout life. So first things first is actually I'm going to strip my bed and change the sheets. It's kind of time, it's kind of past time to do that. So I'm going to do that, strip my bed, change the sheets, make the bed, and then you can see all the clutter behind me. We only have a three bedroom apartment. We do not have a pantry. We do not have a coat closet. We do not have any type of linen closets whatsoever. So to make the space work, we've kind of uh, stored some things in some odd places like the sheets and blankets I have on this bookshelf that we're not using anymore. Um, and I can't think of a better spot to put the blanket. So. I'm just gonna fold the blankets for now. I will probably move them eventually because again, visual clutter, it just, it, it really throws me off and I can't even process anything. So eventually I will move those, but for now, I'm just gonna fold stuff and put it on the shelf. Okay, so this morning we're gonna be working on the kitchen. This is, a, I think day five of recording um we're gonna work on the kitchen it's a little bit messy and the countertop it i understand the countertop is like a catch-all place for all of us so i don't know a better solution but we're gonna clean off the countertop again do the dishes and then after we're done working in the kitchen we're gonna go back to the bedroom I went over to grab my coffee and oh. 
Oh, the good boy. Oh, the good boy. Okay, for starters, we're gonna make some more Thieves Cleaner because, as you can see, I'm almost out. And this design bottle, I have to um, kind of tilt it like this to clean, and it's getting to be a little bit of a pain. So, what I normally do is I take my bottle, I take my Thieves Cleaner, it's about, I think, $25 to $30 a bottle, maybe more so $25. I just use capfuls at a time. And you can just add one capful in, but I normally add two. And that's all it takes. So for our family, this is more cost effective as a cleaner. And then I just fill the rest of the bottle up with water. So I just did the dishes. I got rid of that nasty ramen bowl. Um, so now we're moving on to the bedroom. We're also, if you guys didn't catch that before, we have Marina's new video on. And I just use it for motivation because she's amazing. So that will be playing in the background. Okay, so my husband took the phone stand. Yes, I am still using my phone and not using a DSLR. Um, 
I want to get used to recording and not feeling awkward about it, even though I've been dying to make videos for years now. It's still a little bit awkward for me. So until I can get used to everything, um, I'm going to learn how to use the DSLR and edit and stuff like that. Um, I Currently, my MacBook, or not MacBook, my Mac, um, just the big monitor, the Mac, um, it, it is old. It's from like 2008, so I am needing to replace it. Um, so until I figure out my computer situation, this is what I'm going to be using. So let's uh, get back to cleaning. that I collect for my dad. I don't know if they're worth anything anymore, but they're, oh, the, the light is not cooperating. Um, there we go. They're the wheat pennies. They're not easy to come by, but, uh, whenever I worked as a cashier, I would find these pennies every now and then, and, well, I had a manager or a supervisor that was available to come over because I'm not about to steal out of the cash register. I would take one of my pennies in my wallet, put it in the drawer, and then take the wheat penny out. And that's how I found a good collection of these um, wheat pennies. So, let's see. One, two... Oh, that one. This one's old. It's almost worn out. 1919. 1929-1940-1949. 1944, 1929, and 1952. The 1919 is probably the oldest one I've ever seen. 
That's really cool. Come on. Okay, I give up. But um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't work as a cashier anymore. I miss being a cashier. But I'm now working on my associate's, my first associate's degree. So I will probably not find these in a very long time. I have my headphones on here. I was probably listening to my audiobook from one of my college classes or probably Marina from Fearfully Created.
Okay, so we're gonna continue on and uh, continue on with the bedroom. Um, it's a hot mess right now. I had to take a couple days off again because I just started college up and I, I have to get into the swing of things. I'm still, it's day three and not in the swing of things. So um, just bear with me a little bit. And if you have any suggestions for uh, people that have ADD and who um, are balancing like more than two classes at the same time, let me know in the comments below because, ah, <laughs> um, I do have to say all my classes are online, so I don't, um, like I don't have to take any notes really. And another thing that does help is that um, my textbooks that are online, I can do the audio or the text to audio and that helps out a lot. So just if, if you guys have trouble reading through a textbook, like I can read through uh, a book series like, like that, but for some reason my textbooks, I cannot, even though I do think they're interesting. And that's one way I have found to be useful is the, the text to audio. Um, I did get accommodations for uh, like testing and stuff. So I have that taken care of. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. But um, I do need to work on the laundry like it was folded at one point and now it's not. Uh, I still have Christmas stuff out because I'm not going to ship it out until February just due to finances and, you know, logistics, stuff like that, finances. Um, so I just need to straighten things up and put the laundry away. So that's what we're going to be working on this morning um, to wrap up this video.
Okay, so you guys know what it looked like before, and I'll post the picture up here. And this is about <laughs> a week's worth of cleaning and setting up. Now, I have a little box that um, Obi likes to sleep in next to my desk. I got my college stuff set up. Um, a mystery, I don't know what kind of oil I put in here, but I'm going to try to find out today. So I got my desk set up. We put up the picture frames, repainted the walls. Um, we got the cart set up and this area clean. We cleaned off the we cleaned off the uh, dresser, we made the bed, and got everything up off the bed, except I'm going to work on baby albums this week, and we, I did end up, I didn't put away the Christmas stuff yet, because I'm going to ship it out in February, so I just wanted to tidy up, and I'll continue to tidy up. I do have to wrap. I think I'm going to send one out either tomorrow or, again, wait until February, just due to finances. So that is, this is taken care of as of right now. Um, I'm going to work on organizing the school papers and separating them out into the filing bins or the trash because we don't keep everything and yeah so this and we replaced the backing to that instead of the blue pattern it's the more neutrally whitish gold pattern so I'm pretty happy with everything considering how it looked and I will continue to work on it. So thank you for joining me in this hot mess journey for about a week and a half, I think. I don't think it was two weeks. Don't think it was two weeks, but thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it in my first hot mess video. I'm just gonna go ahead and post it. I know it's not like Instagram or YouTube worthy, but I'm just gonna put myself out there and hopefully I'll just get better as um, time goes on. So if you're willing to stick with me through that, I would really appreciate hitting the subscribe button below. I will be uh, doing more videos like cleaning because my, you guys have seen my house, it's a hot mess. And it would motivate me to clean my house with you. And hopefully I would motivate you as well um, I will also be posting more or starting to post school videos to so like studies, study with me and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, if you would like to stick around with me, you would be more than welcome to and I would appreciate that. Okay. All right. Bye. Here is the finished result of the desk area. Overall, I'm really happy with it. I hope I inspired somebody to clean their own home, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time on the hot mess side of YouTube.